Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Extinction Adventures in the Winter Dome. Is it called the Winter Dome? I guess it's called it Grey Fist Mountain. <laughs> in the Winter Dome on the Extinction map. And made a couple more changes to the base real quick. I just expanded over here for our smaller dino tames. I started taming some uh, some wolves. I haven't painted the other two. I'm trying to get a perfect uh, pair if I can. Otherwise I'll start breeding and try to get a perfect pair. I got a second uh, Ovis. Uh, to match. Uh, I, someday I'll get another horse for Mr. Ed. I just moved some of the community dinos over here because we don't have any more new new players coming in who are going to need the community dinos, so I figured let's give them a place to live and and, and exist. There's a couple flyers there still in case people need them. Uh, let's see. We tamed Velma. You saw that. I believe you saw that. Yeah, you definitely saw that. Uh, we got Al still dropping some pellets. Thank you. I'm going to be taking these pellets. I'm going to be taming a gotcha. A gotcha. A gotcha. A gotcha. gotcha. Uh, or more than one. Uh, I've kind of played with those on Eco's uh, Patreon server. I'm playing over there as well. I'm playing over there just for the fun of it. I'm not really recording anything. Uh, so I'm experimenting with that. Um, we have a... Uh, as we were... I think I might have caught this in recording, if not. But as we were hunting for the perfect snow owl, uh, we pooled some resources together, the, the tribe did, to make this tech transmitter, S plus tech transmitter, which of course has the dino scan, which is the big deal. We can find perfect uh, animals if we want to. If we want to do it that way, if we want to roll that way. Um, a little bit of base remodel, that's about it. But I really am interested this episode in trying to... One of the things I want to do... I don't, do I have... I think I have some blueprints of some uh, craftable... Or do I? I thought I did. Of some of those enforcers. Here we go. I've got some enforcers. I've got a journeyman. <clears throat> this is a level 45 with 30 damage. Level 40 with 20 damage. Level 91 with 65 damage. This is the one. I want to try to... Yeah, I want to try to craft this guy. Um, I have a tech replicator now, as you saw. So I should be able to... T to uh, Craft this dude. It requires some more element dust and some more oil. Um, I can get the oil from killing the enforcers as well. So I think what I need to do now is go on an enforcer hunt. I don't think... Actually, I might have enough oil. Let me fetch resources. Let me, let me see if I have enough resources for all this. Close this. Uh, fetch. No, it says I need element dust, but it says I have enough oil. So let's fetch the oil. And get out. Yeah, I got plenty of oil. Got oil over there. So we got that. So I just need element dust. So I need to go kill some enforcers. So we're going to hop on the bird. And we're going to kill some, some stuff. Should I hop on the bird? Arthur's really good at it. And he can skid around real fast. Can't you, Arthur? Let me turn off your ally looking. I like to turn off ally looking on all my dinos because it's just annoying me. It annoys me. Especially on the big ones like the Rex. Yeah, we're going to go fly around with you, and we're going to go kill some enforcers, which should be no problem at all. So let's teleport over to the community center, and uh, depending upon the lag, uh, I might cut or I might stay with you guys. So let's see how long this takes. Usually, when I teleport from here to the community center, you can see, I don't know if you can see it faintly, you can see the outline of it, but it's all white, and it's just frozen, and it's going to take a while. I'll be back. And we are back. <laughs> So we should try to find some enforcers. That those guys don't give those little these little guys defensive units. They don't give any dust. Oh, I already killed him. He just dissolves. He doesn't give any dust. Uh, oh, another thing. Oh, it just dawned on me. This is probably gonna be stupid, but I should go get the Yankee because let's see how fast I can teleport back. Now that I've been here, should theoretically go fairly quickly. Uh, a little frozen. Yeah, there we go. We bring the Yankee. Because we can harvest some of those benches. Those have element dust. Put him on our shoulder. Head back over here. Teleport back to the comm center. Awesome teleporters are awesome. If you don't have them, get them if you can on your server. They are incredible. And not that bad of a delay. All right. Head on over here to the park area. I call this the park. I don't know if it really is. I think the whole thing is kind of a park, but... This little dome thing here. We built a little structure around the uh, city terminal. Right down here are the benches that are harvestable. 
the tables. Throw you off, put you on my shoulder just in case. That you okay, what do you got here? We can give you some more of that there. Melee damage. And the Arky the Arky. The Yankee has absolutely no level up animation, but they are completely frozen while you level up for some reason. Okay, let's harvest this stuff. Yeah, 830. We're gonna get enough just from these tables. We don't need to kill any enforcers. We get to play with an enforcer. Come on. Scrap. We get scrap metal and crystal. We need the crystal for a lot of the tech stuff, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna harvest these guys and then we'll go make that enforcer. Alright, we're back. Hop off of the Anki. Arnold. Arthur and Ar Arnold, right? Yeah, Arthur and Arnold. That's interesting. Okay. Um, we have plenty of dust. I'm just going to pull what I need here for this guy. Let's turn this on. Let's pull the dust. And now we should be able to craft this. There it is. Symboled Enforcer Consumable. Crafted skill bonus 114.3%. Ooh. Because my... Craft skill is up to 3,000. Did I give it a good bonus? That's, that'd be awesome. Go ahead and uh, eat it. There it is. Okay. Oh, nice. Level 91. Uh, disable ally looking. Even though I don't know it does that. And we'll give this guy uh, a cool... I don't like that number. <laughs> um, what do we call him? Purple. Because he was a purple... Blueprint, right? We'll call him purple. Do I need a saddle? Don't need a saddle. Oh wow, what are these three things down here? Alright, we need to play with this dude. Um I'll just leave that running. It's being powered by the generator, it's not consuming elements, so I'm cool with that. Alright, so here's our normal fast uh, run, which is pretty good. So normal walk is okay, run is pretty good. We can use a little bit. Let's see, do I have a primary? Secondary? Oh, secondary is a little teleport thing. That's my crouch. Oh. Crouch is throwing something. Okay, he's not doing so good. Let's use this right click. Right click teleport. So I'm using this right click to get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of dodge. Oh, I get three. Te That's what that is. Those things at the bottom, they're like three teleports. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to my base. Uh, just to uh, deal, if I can get the cursor to show up on my screen. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> just to deal with that guy for now. But I have three teleports available to me. That's pretty cool. So I've got to level up. I obviously... Okay, what do I have here? I don't have a full complement of stats. I don't have oxygen or food or water. Energy. Um... This has element in it. It's going down. I guess that means you need to supply him with element or element dust, perhaps? Let's see. Throw in some element dust and see if he eats this. Let's come back on here and put it on when we're on here. Watch that energy. Yep, it's climbing. So he has an energy reserve. So that is food, basically. Um, melee damage and movement speed. A little bit of movement speed. Oh, I was going to go melee damage, but I don't have any levels left. Okay. Um, by the way, let's put one of these on this guy. So we can bring him back with the awesome teleporters. Let's, uh, put the pickup mod on him as well. See if he's pick up -able. He certainly is. <laughs> Got an enforcer on my shoulder. That's right. Uh, and this, since this is bugging me out of the corner of my eye, I'm going to go turn it off. And let's see what this guy can do for real now, for realsies. Um, go ahead and just leave through this cool new tech gate. Oh, come on. Put it here. Does he take fall damage? Uh, I'm not sure that was actually fall damage. This guy seems to have de aggroed from me. Okay, he's got a, a point. Let's put it in there. Um, what does this thing do? I'm hitting crouch. Uh, apparently needs a recharge of some sort. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm hitting it every once in a while. There we go. It throws out little spines or something that have a limited range. Okay. Um, I don't know what kind of damage I do now. Go we'll find out. I have a jump. I do. Not a very good one. Even holding it down doesn't do anything. 
Does X do anything? Does R do anything? Nope. Oops, that's the wrong key. <laughs> Just mashing keys now. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, that's another one of you tough dudes. That's one of you guys. You guys are not that strong. See if I can kill you. Only 10 points from that spine, though. Huh. Tire bear. Good level. 10? Eh. He's gonna hit me with some, some poop here in a sec. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I hope it's not doing so good. Hi, buddy. You want some more of me? 225 now. Okay, I'm doing actual damage. <laughs> and I do harvest meat. Oh, nice. I slice and dice meat, which is cool. I'm pretty sure he doesn't eat it, though. Look, see if his energy goes down. Yeah, his energy is continuing to fall. So he only eats that stuff. Okay, yeah, he doesn't eat the meat. So we're going to drop that. I guess I'll keep the prime. I'll keep the keratin. All right, we got some levels. Uh, let's give it a little bit more stam. I like that up around the 2,000 range. Bet you I can use this on him. I sure can. We can use some healing potions. That's cool. Some dino aid. Um, but just melee damage for now. We'll add a little bit more speed later, maybe. 464 against an Anki. Not the greatest, but not terrible either. Uh, what do we do again? Let's do the, the shot again. It's only 10 points. It's always only 10 points. Let's teleport past these dudes. Oosh. Oosh. I have four of them now. Did you notice that? I have four teleports available to me. That's kind of cool. More melee. Let's see what we can do against these wolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, picked up some cool stuff. A little bit more speed. There we go. The rest into melee right now. I'm just going to wreck house and see what this guy can I can get this guy up to. All right. I found out two new things while I'm over here in the, uh, in the city. One is these guys can harvest electronics. Look at that. Crystal, element dust, electronics. They can harvest their own food. <laughs> the second thing is, this teleport thing is not just for getting around. Uh, for instance, let's look over here. Boom. It lets you teleport to uh, and stick to walls. You can actually climb walls, which is really cool. Very much like a rock drake. I wonder how high I can get with the, the charges I have. I can get all the way up here. Oh, and third thing, no fall damage. No matter how high up you fall, watch. No fall damage. It flashes, but the uh, dino's health or the enforcer's health does not flicker at all. So no fall damage. Very cool. You guys probably saw this when I was looking through here, but I didn't even notice. I had a Mastercraft <laughs> unassembled enforcer. I also have a previously assembled primitive scout that I had assembled back when we were in the community center and decided to play with it later. Um, it's only a primitive scout. Do I have what I need to make that? Just out of curiosity. Oh my god, I do. All right, we're making a mastercraft. Now, <laughs> I probably just took the food out of this dude. No, he still got his food. Uh, how much more element do we have? Let's see if you got any element on you. You do. Take a couple of stacks of that. Uh, let's take this new Mastercraft Enforcer. Oh, he's all bluish and stuff, too. I guess they come in slightly different colors. That's interesting. Options, change name. Uh, you're blue, I guess. The other one was purple. Well, I, I was going by the colors of the... of the, of the the uh, So he's yellow, actually. Because he's a Mastercraft. <laughs> Uh, he's starting out at 90. Uh, I don't know what the other one started out as. It was close to that. 
don't remember. You guys do. Uh, we're going to actually see what the scout's all up to, though. Let's, let's deploy the scout. I guess you have to put it in your hot bar. Oh, no. You have to throw it like a grenade. Uh, 20 element dust is required for scout operation. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put all of this element dust in my inventory. By the way, let's take all of that, too, and put that where it belongs so we don't uh, waste our time later looking for that. That and that, and then throw this in here to be cooked up as metal. This this metal here, by the way, this these scrap metal ingots will work as regular metal ingots in every recipe, so really cool. Alright, let's um throw you. Okay. Uh I can point and move forward and backward and left and right. Hitting jump makes me go up, hitting crouch makes me go down. That's cool. That works really well. Let's go out the exit here. How far away from my It's a primitive. How far away can I Oh I can't get through the I can't get through that? Oh man. Oh, okay. Um and somebody said that if I right click that he comes back to me. <laughs> uh, apparently that timer you saw in the right corner was uh how much longer it can be deployed, I guess. Do it here. Boom. Okay. How far away can I go? Let's just go straight away. Oh, we're getting things identified. Um, blue outlined as passive, I guess. What does right click do? Is that a zoom? Oh, I made him aggressive. I guess I actually physically hit him. The right click is accelerate fast. It's like a sprint like a jet. I'm pretty far away though. Green is part of my tribe. Blue is passive and red is angry. And I, there was a red one down there. I don't know if he's still there. Might have gone somewhere else. How far away can I get? As long as I hold down right. Okay, I'm starting to get fuzzy. Go. Go back. There we go. And I guess that timer wasn't how much I time I have left to deploy. I guess I could deploy as long as I have element dust. And you see the element dust is counting down fairly quickly on the bottom left. What does this do, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's actually putting a mark on them. Doesn't seem to be hurting them. Oh, that would be really cool for if you like... Oh, oh there's a... There's a level 150 or something. Can I get up close and see what its level is? I can! You can say, like, there's a level 150, and then you tag it. And then I wonder, can I see that when I come back? Let's let's exit out by hitting the use key. Can I then see that? Oh, I can! See the little blue things glowing all over them? And even through walls. Look at that. Even through walls. And that timer that you see, I think that's the time it's going to automatically come back. I hit the, the display info, but it didn't give me any info. If I right-click now and bring it back to the little things over the... Characters go away? They do. But only as long as the scout is out there will they appear. That's cool. That's good to know. That's a very useful little tool. I like it. Probably something to keep in my pocket. Can I use it this way? Like a, a normal thing that you can use from your inventory? Yes, I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't have to have it on my hotbar. That's awesome. Oh, another owl pellet. Yeah, no, oh, we got a little bit of lag right here. No, it vanished. You didn't pick it up, did you? No, you did not. It just vanished. Aw, what a shame. Okay, so that's cool. Scout, we need to take yellow out and level him up. I got 158 leveled up. Purple leveled up pretty well, but I'm going to level up yellow. And then, if we have enough time, I think we're going to take the pellets we have. We have a number of them. Try to tame a gacha. Gacha. Or, or two, or three, or four. It's the best one I've seen so far. Let me go and grab some of the okay. snow owl bar ups. <laughs> yeah, I got some of mine too. Yeah, I just forgot to bring them. Got a number of them. And I'll be uh, sitting here on my enforcer. Oh, you have an enforcer. Look at you. I, have a, I was uh, just saying that that is one of the things I still want to do, and I just have the resource to do so, but we're not doing it right now. I have a Mastercraft <laughs> enforcer. Ooh. Yes, that is what I'm going to have, a level 100 Mastercraft Enforcer. Yeah, he's got four teleports. Ooh. Or it's got four teleports. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't even know that was a thing. I haven't looked up what the enforcers do. I just killed them so far. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna experience that, I guess. Oh, look at you, level 90. And you're stuck up here, you can't go anywhere, that's cool. <laughs> that's perfect taming spot. You got a level 90 gotcha? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll I'll tame this one then, if you want to tame that one. So what do you do, you just drop stuff in front of them, right? Uh-huh. They have to be able to see it. So you tend that's to want to drop it problem. in front of them, literally in front of them. Sometimes they'll sit down and then it's easy to just drop plop it in front of them. And it just sat down. Isn't that great? Right, give me all this little bar off. Up one here. Buddy, eat that. Please, I can't see. Here you go. Eat that. Hey, you. How about this? You don't want that? Yes, you Ooh, do. I you like that. Did. 23%! Ooh, almost tamed. Alright. Is there a cooldown on that? And there's no cooldown, no. You should be able to pop another one right down. Oh, assuming that they'll see it. Oh yeah, it does. Come on. There you go. I like to them to sit down just because I don't want to miss a drop in front of them. And then have to pick it up again. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, you're oh. more than halfway done. Just two more and you're going to be tamed. Oh, you took one. You take the other one now? Those stats don't and say you much did. Aww. Production. Any obsidian, clay, congealed gas, gold, ah. hungry wood, raw salt, and fragmented green gem, which I have all around me. Clay is cool. It saves me the crafting. Ah, buddy. Don't need that. Obsidian is cool for a while. Otherwise, you're pretty useless. Let's, um... Where did you go? Where did my enforcer go? There he is. We're going to send my enforcer back. Yeah, it's just one of these crystals, these blue crystals that are all around here. Mm hmm Yeah, you pick those up, but you know how to use those, right? Yeah, I mean, the Enforcer looks like that when you have it on your shoulder. Yeah, the Enforcer, the oh, catcher. Oh, I see just the catcher. Oh, yeah, yeah, he looks like one of the crystals. Gotcha. Yeah, he does, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Yeah, gotcha, exactly. So, was yours back at your base? Is that where you found it? Well, it is now. Oh, wow, when you drop that off. <laughs> Come here and look at that. <laughs> I don't remember where your base is. <laughs> That's not okay. There's your base. Yeah. So what's the three big trees and then off to the left? What? What's not okay? <laughs> Wait. What? Pick it up. It's crystal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Drop it off. Look at this big crystal. Oh, crystals are huge <laughs> for a moment and then they shrink. Yeah. That's cool. That is quite cool. I'm just going to sit here. There you go. Oh, yeah. Right, um, they, have, they have these these pouches. Do you know how they work? You, yeah, pretty much. I think okay. so. I mean, you can set their their production. Yep. And then they won't well, stop producing. Yeah. Well, they won't produce unless you do something else. Yeah. You know what that other thing is? Or I can run around with them and just deplete the stamina while. That's not it. No. Got nothing to do with pooping. Do. All right. Do you know what it is? Do you no. want me to tell you? Sure. You have to feed them resources. Put them in their inventory. Alright, that works. They can yeah, but then if you run around, you make them hungry. That's Yeah, but it's not pooping that produces the, the crystals. No, it's, it's not the pooping, it's, it's the eating part. The consuming out of the inventory okay. part. Yeah. And if you run around, they, uh, well, they get hungry faster because they need to regain stamina that costs food. Yeah, but they can't actually produce anything, a crystal, until you've given them resources to, to, make, to munch. Yeah, yeah that's, right. that's... I mean, I think they eat other things, but... Could be wrong, but they don't won't produce any crystals unless you give them resources. I'm gonna give them some stone I've here. I've noticed that the one I had on Eco Server will eat uh, raw metal. It likes that. Mm -hmm. um, they've also eaten wood, flint. I don't know about Same stone. What they eat? I haven't tried oh, stone. I imagine we'll stone. Works too. I guess we will see if it gets hungry and eats. Right. Let's do some... I don't know what I want to produce here. Obsidian. Why not? I left mine on all, and then I, I'm bumping... I'm going to be bumping crafting skill like crazy, because then they'll drop actual items of different qualities. Journeyman, mm. Apprentice, Mastercraft, Ascendant. 
actual items, armor, weapons. They basically just make stuff. They're they're basically a roaming supply drop. Is what they are. Yes. Or a sitting supply drop for that for that matter. Yeah, not a sitting one. That's cool though. There you go. He popped one out for you. So it seems to be working. Give it. Give it. Here. And when you get an item, you'll know because it'll be a color of one of the you know, yeah. one of the levels. This one isn't. This is seven obsidian. Oh, cool. Seven, seven more than I had before, so that's good. <laughs> I got. I gotta take my I need the S plus resource collector, I think. I think I gotta take mine back to my base. You wanna oh, tame the other uh, 50s? I think I'm gonna go around and see what I can tame. I'm out of snow owl off things. I have oh, a more. bunch. Do you want some? Because it won't take many to tame 50. I have. Uh, that's true. It should only take four to tame. Three should work, right? Here, I'll give you three, because I have seven. Yeah, I, I, I still have three. two. What'd you say? I still have two. Oh, well then you don't need all three. Take two of mine. No. No. They're on the bird. Yep. There you go. Thank you very much. Alright, I've got Gotcha here. I've also tamed up a Listro really quickly. I just quickly tamed one of those guys up. And uh, then, I don't know what I'm pumping into here, but I'm using him to try to boost the levels of, of, our, of Gotcha. And it's working. And I'm putting them all into crafting skill. Uh, I don't really care about much else than that. Uh, I've thrown a bunch of resources in here. He's actually picking up the poop. I'm not putting that in there. He's picking it up. So I'm figuring that's one of his functions. But I wonder if this is a resource he can actually consume uh, to make stuff. Because that would be kind of interesting if he could. Uh, I've also thrown in other resources. If he, he's eaten the obsidian. He's eaten the scrap metal. He hasn't touched the element yet. And he hasn't touched the pelt yet. I think he would if he had nothing else. But the but those two for sure. There's another point of crafting skill. Uh, he's eating, so I'll keep him fed with the stuff he likes. I'm kind of curious what he does and doesn't like. Um, for production, he can produce flint, fiber, raw salt, silk, silica, pearls, obsidian, or any, and I have him, of course, picked any. But the worrying thing is he has yet to produce any crystals since I bought him home. Um, I'm wondering if that's where he's placed, up on a raised platform, if it's the biome. He's in the cold biome. Maybe he has to be outside of one of the biomes to work. Um... He doesn't have to be on Wander. That much is true. I mean, I've got one of these guys on uh, a different server, and he's producing crystals just fine. But he is sitting on the actual ground, not on a foundation or a ceiling or anything like what we've got here. These are all foundations, stacked foundations. Uh, so I don't know. But anyway, I guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.